A key feature of human intelligence is our ability to learn fast with limited information. Take Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for Sega Genesis. You could probably pick up a controller and figure out how to get to the end of the first level within 15 minutes. You wouldn't perfect the run, but it'd be good enough. This ability to learn enough to get by from new information not previously experienced is a skill we'd want any real-world artificial intelligence to have. The ability to adapt but not be overly obsessed with perfection is necessary for jobs like package delivery, for example. That's why researchers at OpenAI are using Sonic as a benchmark for reinforcement learning algorithms that learn by playing levels they've never seen. Carried out last year, the company held a contest where 200 plus teams submitted their own algorithms. The goal was to see if AI could reach basic competency in a short amount of time. After two months, one team separated themselves and one algorithm even figured out how to exploit the game. We're a new science channel. Subscribe for more videos like this. This is an AI agent from the winning team, Dharma Raja, learning on a custom version of the level Aquatic Ruin Zone. Out of the gate, it would get stuck, not yet knowing it needed to spin dash to charge its speed and build enough momentum to get past the slope. Within 30 minutes of training, it figured this out, but got stuck two-thirds through the level. By 60 minutes, it could complete a full run. And by two hours, its progress was slightly more efficient. The agent was pre-trained on other levels, but this was its first time seeing this one. Sonic 2 is a particularly unique game to train AI because it places such a heavy emphasis on maintaining rightward momentum through each level. Momentum is altered by moving through loops and slopes at different speeds. This is a compilation map of AIs learning the same level. Red dots show earlier runs, while blue dots show later runs. You can even see individual runs failing at specific points. How'd they do this? Well, Dharmaraja used a type of algorithm known as Joint Proximal Policy Optimization. A key feature of PPO is that agents learn online, directly from whatever they encounter. Agents are positively rewarded by going right and negatively rewarded for going left on a level. They're also rewarded for completing a level, though the reward drops linearly to zero after about five minutes of in-game time. That way, agents are encouraged to finish as quickly as possible. Interestingly, the winning team customized joint PPO. It used RGB images instead of grayscale, the algorithm was trained with common button combinations, and their agents earned extra rewards for visiting new areas. So what about the AI that learned to glitch? Here, one trained in PPO, we don't know which teams this was, discovered it could slip through a wall to bypass part of a level. Check it out. You can see how it's incentivized to move right. It's continually pushing against the wall before getting the exploit. Like our last video on AI playing hide and seek, this is another example of how reward functions can push agents to unique problem-solving behaviors. We need to uncover these in test environments before rolling them out in the real world. If you like this video, check out the description to read more about OpenAI's research and consider subscribing for future episodes like this. Let us know in the comments what games you wanna see AI play next.